Hello, my name is Robert. I'm in charge of this devlog and this is the first one for the Equinox hunt. First of all, let's talk about how we got here. Everything started one year and a half ago with Game Lab Bucharest. Until then, the team consisted of me as a game designer and level designer and Marianne as programmer and artist. But Marianne only did art because we didn't have someone on it. So, we decided to enter in Game Lab Bucharest to find a good artist. You probably want to know more about this contest. Well, Game Lab is a competition for game developers that spans over 3 months. You work on a game from its concept to a demo, and through the contest, the Romanian game developers from the industry will come to the participants and give valuable feedback for the games. What is a bit special about this is that uh, the contest has uh, gates, abbreviated as G1, G2 and G3. Each of them has its own goals and they are very important for the teams. If a team fails to get, its members are transferred to the teams that pass. Pretty nice that nobody gets eliminated. Well, in gate 1 we had to come with a game idea and pitch it in a presentation. Luckily for us, I was posing the same thing with Marianne, the programmer. Not so lucky for us, it was that I needed a surgery and to be hospitalized. But Marianne managed to make the presentation and pass us to the next gate. For the second gate, we had to make a GDD, a game design document and a prototype. Our team grew from 2 people to 4 people, an artist and a programmer joining us. Sadly for us, the programmer didn't have time to work on the game and the artist had to leave the competition quite soon because of personal reasons, but the artist made some assets for us to use in the prototype. In this period, I was discharged from the hospital and I went to work full-time on the GDD. The jury told us that we passed because of the GDD and how well structured it was and full of details. but. We almost failed because we didn't have any level design because I didn't have time to work on it. For G3, the teams had to bring a fully playable demo and to present it. This was the final phase of the competition. The jury had people who worked on successful Romanian games like Move or Die or Turkey Curse. Also people who work at Tubis of Romania. Our team had 7 people. We've covered everything in game development. like music, art, programming, marketing, game design and level design. We've also met Mihai who wanted to participate in the competition and was an external help on art. That was pretty good for us because we had only one person on art and he was a big help. A week before the final game we had to do a playtest. And we failed big time because we changed something in the last moment that made our game the buggiest one and nobody thought that we could win anymore, not even us. Well, that said, we had one week, so we did a push, a final push for the team. We worked hard, we organized ourselves, and that made a huge difference because, because we won. And that was awesome, because even if our game was buggy, before we did work and that made a lot of difference in the final product. That said, the competition ended with us as winners and this was everything that happened in 2017. We started 2018 with good and bad news. The good news were that we were able to showcase our games at Bucharest Gaming Week, a small local event. The bad news were that our team shrunk to 5 members, people on uh, marketing, music and programming left us. Uh, also, our name changed from Hunted to the one that we use now, Techinox Hunt. The local event was fun, we were able to see the people play the game and we've gained a lot of feedback from the players and fellow indie developers. Also, we've got an interview with PC Garage, an electronic shop who has a YouTube channel with over 140,000 of subscribers. That's a lot, I think, yeah? After the event, we decided to continue work on the game and push the Steam launch. That meant for us a rethinking and a rewriting for the GDD. 
that took us a lot, like 4 months and sadly our team shrunk again from 5 people to 3. The core people remaining, Marianne the programmer, Mihai the artist and me who was doing the rest. We decided to apply for the Indie Expo at Deathplay, but we needed a teaser trailer for that, so we made one! You can check the teaser trailer in the description, I've left the link for that. Also, the demo for Deathplay has improved graphics and polished gameplay compared to the one from Bucharest Gaming Week. This is the history of the Equinox hunt until Deathplay. Stay tuned for our next dev blog where you're gonna find out what happened since Deathplay till now. Well, see you on the next vlog.